The national debt is climbing by the minute, and on Monday it hit the ceiling, $14.29 trillion. That's the absolute limit Congress has allowed the U.S. to borrow. For the government to keep paying its legal obligations in full, Congress must raise the debt limit. But in politically divisive Washington, both sides are still staking out their positions, with Republicans taking a hard line. Without significant spending cuts and changes in the way we spend the American people's money, there will be no increase in the debt limit. And the cuts should be greater than the accompanying increase in the debt limit that the president has given. Republicans want trillions in cuts and no tax hikes. Democrats say tax hikes should be included in the mix, and they caution against tying the debt limit too closely to deficit reduction. We believe that we can reach uh, an agreement on significant deficit reduction within the same time frame that we need, uh, that Congress needs to take action to raise the debt ceiling. But it simply would be folly, as I've said before, to say that uh, if we don't get an agreement, or if we don't get the agreement we want, then we're just not going to raise the debt ceiling uh, come what may. As politicians squabble, Treasury Secretary Tim Geithner has vowed to take, quote, extraordinary measures to allow the U.S. to continue paying its creditors, including borrowing from federal pension plans. Because of this, the U.S. will not default on its debt immediately. But Geithner says he'll run out of options in early August. Many in the Capitol believe Congress must act by then, and creditors will be watching every step of the way. Creditors like China, which holds more than one trillion dollars worth of U.S. Treasuries, and Japan, which holds more than 890 billion worth of debt. Over the years, the U.S. has been forced to raise the debt ceiling 74 times since 1962 to pay for tax cuts, foreign wars, and other spending increases. In fiscal year 2000, total national debt stood at five and a half trillion dollars. Since then, debt has almost tripled. Most in Washington agree, not raising the debt ceiling and defaulting on debt would trigger a spike in borrowing rates and a loss of confidence in the ability of the U.S. government to honor its obligations. A high-stakes game of political chicken is underway, and the national debt clock is ticking. Maggie Lake, CNN, New York.